So I don't I don't know what recently, but I've been on a like rock alternative just vibe. Um, you guys probably could tell with all of my recent videos, there's been a lot of like indie rock, rock, and like 2000s like rock and roll and like all that. So kind of vibe, kind of vibe. It's helping me go hard in the gym. Um, and it's a little, you know, it's a different taste from my usual like Latin vibe, you know? It's been chill, but on the way to the gym. Welcome back to a brand new video, by the way. Um, it is Thursday, is it? No, it's Friday. Holy shit, it's Friday. It's Friday. It's been like five days since Hurricane Barrel. Um, the city still looks horrible. All you see is just like debris. Um, people are cleaning up, so debris is now up to the front of like the houses on the sidewalks, um, waiting for the disaster relief to like come through. Um, today we just have bench. Um, we're caught up on training because training just ended up taking a nice little backlog. Ended up just taking a nice little backlog. Uh, I had to like double up on days just to catch up, but we're back, we're good, we're chilling. And today we uh, just have bench. And it rained today already. Like, I just finished editing Tugmaus' new YouTube video and it was just raining hard all day. Um, posted about my story. Which, by the way, if you guys are not following me on IG, I suggest that you do so. And you can see a lot more posts happening down on the IGs. God damn. I haven't came through here, but a whole, like, billboard um, was just down. Holy shit. I got you guys at the gym. It's bench day. Um, I don't know what I have for program today because I haven't checked. So, uh, we'll talk about that when I get to the gym. All right, so what's up guys? We are here at Space City Gym. Um, so apparently Humble is still without power. Kind of just to show you guys some of the effects that this storm has had on small businesses. Um, like I said in the past, I do work here as a videographer for the gym. And uh, now they're still open during the day whenever there's daylight but they don't have the power to supply like energy uh light and all that stuff so usually you know they open till like later but because of the storm they can only have this place open till uh like 7 7 30. regardless we're here today about to get this bench on the way uh luckily the bench is like in the corner where like there's a lot of sunlight coming through so i don't have to like worry about benching in the dark which is nice and fine uh, but let's actually see i don't know what i have Okay, yeah, so for bench, we have a 5x3 at 7, with the last set being like an AMRAP set at 7. So, so I'm gonna push through, get after it, and start this bench session. Ended up hitting 315 for two, for two. Uh, first set, I didn't like how my pauses felt and looked, so I felt like I could take it for one more round, and so I took it and I bettered my pauses. So happy with that. Brought it down to 275 for the last three sets of three, just because I want to make sure I'm maintaining RPE. I'm at RPE seven. I'm not overshooting because uh, there's no need. So right now. I'm literally just stacking the chips, building, and making sure we're adhering to the RPE so we can build as much momentum 
as we possibly can. Bench already feels like I'm back to it, like repping out 315, hitting 330 um, consistently, right? Uh, deadlifts, deadlifts is something that feels normal, right? Um, the weight's not there, right? But we're building up to that, and squats like the last thing that's coming back. But everything feels fluid as far as like form and technique. Um, it just so happens that bench is the first thing that came back to came back to life. So uh, last three sets, 274. Just knock this bitch down. So now I'm gonna get after it with a bodybuilding workout. Um, yesterday I hit chest and back. So today I'm just gonna hit shoulders and arms. More emphasis on the shoulders. I did do some shoulders yesterday, but it wasn't the main target. I'm just gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna switch out from the 100 trainers into my hokas for that extra comfort get after it. You know what's funny? Even though it's dark, I just realized that luckily with the A7S3, there's dual ISO. So I can literally just crank up my ISO all the way up to 128 and it'll be fine. I'll probably show you guys what that looks like just so you guys know what I'm talking about. But if you guys want a camera that's amazing in low light, A7S3, Epic 3 shit, even the ZV-E1. Sony's just killing it. I'm not even gonna front you. Like, Sony, head of the game. Hey, wait, Wax falling on a termite. It's 
choking on the splinters. What a good way to end off the weekend with a very last minute but great win from Argentina in the Grand Final with the Copa America. But that's gonna be it for today's video, man. Um, just recapping the weekend. Well, first things first for squats. Ended up squatting 440 pounds for a set of four. At a solid, I would say like RP seven to eight. You know, definitely pushing the way for that. But I definitely just knew I had it in me and I wanted to just like push myself for the session. Overall, just like all my training has been really, really just um, on point as far as like hitting RPE and just like executing. Everything's been on point, been hitting cardio out the ass, so that's been good. And you know, just ended up finishing off the weekend with a nice little day of football for the whole day. Um, now we got Spain and Argentina in La Finalissima, whenever that's gonna happen. Um, so I'll be the first time that like Messi and then Lamine and Jamal are gonna be playing together, which is gonna be insane. Kind of gonna be like a full circle, like passing the torch moment. So, really excited for that. But yeah, it's gonna be it for today's video. You know what? Just throw up a thumbs up for all the consistent content on this YouTube. You guys have been killing it. We're at 2.2K subscribers, definitely on the road to 5K. But yeah, without further ado, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Uh -huh.